Oh, didn't see you there. I'm Frank Cuoco with CalTV Sports, and today I'm going to be talking about the 2019 NFL Draft and the top five picks from it. The first pick we're going to talk about is quarterback Kyler Murray, who was drafted first overall by the Arizona Cardinals. Now, assuming he can see over the offensive line, he should be a welcomed addition to the team as they were the last ranked offense last year. Also, it does help that he is mobile considering the line was Swiss cheese last year and it'll be good for him to be able to get out of the pocket and make passes while being rushed. In fact, one of those rushers may very well be Nick Bosa, the next pick we're going to talk about. Not surprisingly, as the most talented player in the draft in my opinion, Nick Bosa was selected sec second overall by the San Francisco 49ers. This makes sense considering their D needed a lot of help and adding the best player in the draft doesn't hurt. Nick will be joining his brother Joey, who plays for the LA Chargers, and they should be a dominant force in the league for years to come. The next pick we're gonna talk about is Clellan Farrell, who went fourth overall to the Oakland Raiders. Before making a comment on the pick itself, I would like to mention that both Bay Area teams were top five picks in this draft. Well, at least we still have the Warriors, right? But anyway, back to the pick. Most people were surprised they didn't pick Josh Allen, considering he was the best player on the board at the time but it does make sense considering that they had a need at that position. I just hope Mike Mayock knows that he's no longer a draft analyst and is actually the GM for the Oakland Raiders. Speaking of Josh Allen, he went seventh overall to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And a little notable fact, Josh Allen went seventh overall in the 2019 NFL Draft to the Jaguars one year after quarterback Josh Allen went seventh overall to the Buffalo Bills. Coincidence? I think not. The last pick we're going to talk about is Daniel Jones, who went six overall to the New York Giants. Now, Eli Manning look-alike jokes aside, I think the most shocking part about this pick is that most people had him as a second, maybe third round pick, and not even a top three quarterback in this draft. One thing people aren't taking into account, though, is that he is Duke educated, which reminds me of another quarterback who went to a prestigious university. Wisely stays in bounds. That's that's a great job by him. That's a Cal education coming into play. But at the end of the day, the Giants could have drafted Josh Allen, which really begs the question, are the Giants trying to turn into the Knicks as quickly as possible? Well, anyway, that's our show. Except I do have one more thing to mention. Although no Bears were drafted this year, we did have four Bears sign as undrafted free agents. Our four players were Patrick Laird, who signs the Miami Dolphins, Jordan Kunazic, who signs the Carolina Panthers, Ian Bunting, who signs to the Chicago Bears, and Patrick McCarry, who signs to the Baltimore Ravens. Overall, next year looks to be a pretty exciting year. Cleveland will attempt to compete for a Super Bowl, if the Patriots have nothing to say about that. Jones and Murray look to be exciting rookies, and we can expect more explosive plays from MVP Patrick Mahomes, assuming the Madden curse doesn't take effect. Well, that's all the time we have. I'm Frank Cuoco with CalTV Sports. Thanks for watching, and go Bears!